I think any one of us can think of multiple occasions when we have felt weak and then we have felt the administration of the grace of God in a very special way. But thinking through the years, um, I came to, uh, last night I was remembering about 15 years ago when my wife uh, became very depressed uh, as the result of a series of circumstances. We have moved uh, from the U.S. to Santo Domingo and the adjustment process for her as an American doctor and it uh, was very difficult. And um, one would think that if you can deal with a patient who is depressed as a physician or uh, if you can deal with a sheep in your congregation who is depressed that you should be able to deal with a depressed wife. But uh, nothing is further from the truth. I think we quite frequently are not the best doctors or the best counselors for our wives. And, and I think I was not prepare enough to, to deal with the situation and consequently uh, things did not get better quickly. So the days turn into weeks and months and, and even years. And those years were hard and yet uh, I must say that uh, I cannot remember any other time when the fellowship of the Lord was sweeter in my life than during, during those years. And um, I remember praying uh, to the Lord for strength and patience and, and, and love to be able to love my wife. And one night uh, I prayed all night and I read the Psalms. And uh, I don't remember any other time in my life when I, I did something like that, but I did. And then by the next morning, um, I wasn't even weak or tired or sleepy. I was just strengthened by what I read. And those words of the Psalms became so real to me. And the experience of the psalmist were so close to my heart that uh, sometimes in some ways uh, I was wishing that I would go through something like that again, just to be able to experience that sweetness of that fellowship of, of God. And uh, we, uh, we went away for a week and um, two people were able to talk to us and, and pray with us and, and that was enough. We, we came back and um, we began the process of that healing uh, of her depression and also I, I was growing in grace and, and learning better how to deal with my wife and how to love her through that process and how to care for her. And as a consequence of that, um, obviously, I, I became more tender toward uh, people who are going through uh, similar situations today. And I, and I thank God for helping me to become a better pastor to or through difficult times. And uh, so that was a very special time in my, in my life. And I think for those of you who might be going through uh, hard times, it is good to remember the, the words uh, that you find in 2 Chronicles uh, 2012, where the people of Israel were uh, just very afraid. They said they did not have the power to deal with this vast army that was uh, attacking them. And then they said, um, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. So I think when we're going through situations that are hard and difficult to deal with, that is one thing we need to do. We need to go back to the Lord. We need to trust Him. Uh, we need to stop asking questions. Uh, just remember that uh, the goodness of God and that His mercy endures forever. And keep repeating those words to you time and again, time and again. Uh, there might be some issues that you need to confess or repent of. Maybe um, sinful patterns uh, uh, of behaviors or, or thinking, patterns of thinking in the wrong way. Uh, whatever that is, just deal with it, and God will visit you uh, again and again with His grace. And keep waiting upon Him until He answers you. And, and that answer may come in the next life. And the only reason why, why I'm saying that is because I'm thinking right now of those people that are mentioned in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, um, verse 13. We are told there that these people never receive, receive the things that they were promised and yet they saw them from afar, from a distance, and they welcomed them uh, as if they were being received uh, 
in this side of glory. And uh, they continue to wait upon the Lord. And, and that is one example that we could follow. They, they realize that they were foreigners and strangers on this earth. And we need to think more and more that way and have an eternal orientation as we go on through these difficult times.